Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a fade in and fade out effect. So first thing you want to do is load up a scratch project which I have right here. So the first block you will need is a one clicked block so I'll go bring that right here. So once you have that then you want to go into looks and get in a set color effect by zero block. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to go so we can do the fade in and fade out effect. And what you want to do is you want to set this to 100. And now the reason why we have to set this to 100 is so that it makes it invisible. So when we click the green flag button, it's completely, invi and completely invisible. So this block basically makes the sprite character invisible. So if we set it to like 50 and then click the green flag button, it is slightly visible. But if we set it to zero, it's completely visible. So that's why setting this to 100 makes it invisible once we've done that you want to go into control get in the repeat block and then set that to 100 and then you want to go and go into the looks block and then go and get the change effect put it to ghost and set it to negative one the reason why I have to set it to negative one is so that it will actually like fade in. After you do that, you want to go into looks, get in the set color block, make it to zero. So that actually makes it fade out so it so it becomes visible. Then go into repeat, get the repeat block set to 100 for the lowest input and make it so that it actually fades out and fades in cleanly. Then go into looks get in the change block which we'll get right here and make sure you set this to set these all to ghost now when we play it now you see that it works so that's why we have to so that's the code right here so basically to make it understandable if we remove this block, these blocks, and just put it, put these blocks under the when clicked block, when we play it, so that basically makes it so that the sprite fades in. And then this is the code for it to make it fade out. So when we click the green flag button, it fades in and then it fades out just like that. So if you want to make it go forever, just remove this code. Get in the forever loop block, which I'll get right here. Put it under the forever block. And now when we play the green flag button, it fades in. It fades out. It fades in. And then it fades out. So that's all you got to do for this code. I hope this helped you. I hope you can do this. Thank you for watching. Peace. For more beginner level scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca slash basics.